I'm going to give um, Gruel Underworld Breach a go. It's from the Epic Storm on YouTube. I didn't watch the video yet, I haven't had time, but I figured I could give it a go. It's kind of interesting, you know, get one league then with it, and if it feels like it overperforms, maybe uh, think about it some more. But let's just get to it, build the deck. Oh, uh, let's see, let's see, February 3rd. Breach Storm. Dragon's Rage Channeler. I do think Channeler Breach is kind of... They kind of work very well together. Um, a lot of the... Like, the Grinding Station decks don't play DRC generally, and that's fine. Uh, an Anarch... Narcomancer. Trying to spell it correctly. It's not always the easiest. Got some abundant harvest. Oh, this one looks kind of cool. What is this? The Strixhaven Mystical Archive? It is. But this is also the Strixhaven. Oh, this is the Japanese version, except it doesn't have the Japanese text on it, obviously. Got empty the lines. One thing that's like kind of difficult is to figure out when you should sideboard with this deck and how much you should sideboard. I think that's just like kind of true of combo in general because the way I approach it is I don't really want to mess with the main engine too much. So I think it's kind of easy to ruin these decks by overboarding. Like, then your deck just can't implement its game one configuration, which honestly often wins a fair amount. But in game one for this deck, it kind of looks like Grape Shot for the full amount. In conjunction with, like, Lightning Bolts and Breaches is the primary way to go. So that's just, like, a bunch of damage that stacks up. Also, maybe your opponent fetches with a fetch land once or twice. Like Fetch Shock, so I'll have damage. Looks like the enemy of your deck is actually Chouse of the Void on 2. That's something to think about. Don't know about Gigantha, really. Like, you're paying 3 to draw a card, but I'm not sure that card does a lot in your deck, is the best way of putting it. So we have 15 lands, we have 3, 6, 7, or 7, 8, 9 fetches, 6 actual lands. That's fine, I think. I mean, the games where you draw too many lands, you're probably not going to win anyways. Can you send me another list? Yeah, sure. I mean, I'll happily update it. I was just copying from the YouTube slash Moxfield. I have no skin in the game one way or the other, just I'm um, trying things out, you know. Okay. Okay, we're gonna update to this version, I guess. So, what was cut? One less of these, one more of these. 15 lands still. Three stomping ground. Uh, zero lightning bolt, I see. So I guess the problem is you can't actually bolt someone out. Will I try a wish list? Uh, no, I probably only have time to do one league with this deck because I also have other stuff I want to try, but. Sacred Foundry. I see. We have prismatic endings on the sideboard now with this configuration. Three, six, nine fetches still. Doesn't really matter what the fetches are. I guess, like, there's an argument for Pithing Needle. 
People could randomly needle you. Uh, Strike it rich also enables the. Oops. I'd help if I could spell it. Oh. Well, I guess the way the search works, that's fine to do. Strike it rich also lets you cast your white cards. So does Manamorphos. So I think, like, even though there's only one actual white red shock clan, I think that's enough. Tinmire. Scalding turn. In an ideal world, I would have enough time to play, like, every deck for, like, five leagues or whatever. Sanctifier, yeah, that's actually a big problem. Like, specifically from Hammer, I think Sanctifier is a big deal because it just kills so fast. Dude. Like, the problem is... Sanctifier from Hammer, I think you just don't have a lot of time to recover. And there's not really other decks that play Sanctifier and Vec, really, so... You kind of just have to... Go that route, I think. Still not sure about this Gigantha. Because... I think probably my... Issue with it is it doesn't... Hmm... What's the best way of putting it? I don't know how Gigantha would ever win a game in this deck, I guess is the best way of putting it. And we don't have any pitch cards for it. There's not like a March or Breckless Joy or something like that, you know? But maybe it's good enough for his Rakdos Scam that I should be playing it. I don't know. I realistically do not know. Is this deck playing Wish, or should this deck play a Wish? I don't know. It's not something I can figure out. Maybe Bryant has a better idea, really, with this regard. In this regard, rather, not in this regard. In disregard? I don't know. Wow. In disregard and in disregard are sound the same. What the hell? Very confusing. In this regard or in disregard. So weird. Okay. Um still thinking about this Gigantha. Uh I'm going to do one thing, which obviously doesn't really matter, but well, first I'm going to export this as a TXT, but there's a new website I've been using. Well, it's not that new, but I do like using it, it's called MTG on Curve. It uses Monte Carlo to see if you can really cast your spells. Obviously, it discounts, like, Manamorphos or Rituals or whatever, but it's kind of a cool tool. Um... Just want to like shout it out for people who don't, who might not know about it. Like, so basically, what happens is you simulate a million hands and just checks the realization of each of those hands, like drawing a few cards to see if you can cast your stuff on curve. Obviously, like it's kind of biased towards the fact that it can't really do. It has no good logic for a ritual or something, for like galvanic relay or empty the warrens. Two Sacred Foundry versus two Basics. I'd rather have the two Basics, I think. So I think the damage matters more often versus, like, an opposing beatdown deck. And I think, like, often you can just cycle Manamorphos to cast ending on a... on a, uh, Sanctifier if necessary. So Strike It Rich... Let's see, if you have... Strike it rich plus breach plus three DRCs. You can basically mill most of your deck and probably grape shot them out. So the counterpoint to Sacred Foundry is 
to like playing two Sacred Foundry versus Second Mountain is what happens if you mill the first one to DRC and you need to find another one later in the game. So that's the counterpoint, I think. Um, could also see like a slight argument for cutting a fetch for the Foundry in that regard. Those are just some things to think about. Like the DRC melting, I think, is non zero. So maybe just cutting a fetch for the Sacred Foundry is the solution to balance it out, really. Anyways, just want to shout out the site. I just do a quick check on most decks to see if there's anything wrong. I think, like, the numbers here are not quite right, but um, that's mostly a Manamorphos thing. Like, yeah, but I'm not sure how often you want to burn Strike It Rich just to cast... The Foundry. I guess you're casting the Striker Rich on one most of the time anyways. But also, like, cutting a fetch for a Sacred Foundry doesn't seem like a high cost to me for getting the flexibility of being able to mill your Sacred Foundry in the games you're flooded. I don't know. It's just... It's something to think about anyways. Alright. And, like, in fact, I think I am just going to add the Foundry for that reason. But I think it is close... I'll just cut the third foothills. I don't think it's like crazy to go the other way, of course. Support. Did I add to missing? I know, but the the eighth to ninth fetch I don't think is a big deal compared to the fact that you're going from one to two sacred foundry. That's actually a bigger increase, like, percentage-wise, technically speaking. It's like the idea, going from 0 to 1 is the biggest increase, then every increase after that is kind of marginal. Like, less relevant. Obviously it matters, but... Right. Holy shit, I have so many breach lists... A lot of them were, like, fair breach decks, though. Alright. Just, uh... Decks. Oh. Alright. Okay, let me switch this to part of you. Was the defense grid good? I'm kind of curious about that. Like, I don't know. It's kind of hard to parse. I also don't really know what cards you can side out. My suspicion is there's, like, not actually that many cards you can side out, really. I guess, like, sometimes you can side out one Grape Trap for an empty or something like that. And sometimes you can trim around the edges to get Prismatic Endings into your deck. I guess this is labeled as Gruel. It's technically Naya, but this is, like... It's not... Big deal, I, th I feel like. Don't worry. For 2023. Oh, storm. Also, this song's a banger. Gigantha can help when you be overboard for a storm, attack them with dinguses. Well, the thing is, like, once you show them an Acromancer, are they just going to side out a bunch of their removal? Like, I don't think so. Because I think people always kill an Acromancer or, like, DRC on site anyways. Can someone let me know if the deck list is updated real quick? Alright, let's got a prediction up for predicted record with this deck. Anyways, um, thanks for everyone being here on this Friday. If you do want to support the stream, the easiest way and free way to do is hit up the follow button. We're almost 8,000 followers. Do appreciate y'all. I wouldn't do this without y'all. And if you have Twitch Prime or Amazon Prime, consider using it here. You get a free Prime sub per month, 
So at least use it somewhere, if not here. Alright, let's just head into the league now, chat. I might play some, like, elementals afterwards, but we'll see what happens. We'll see how I feel. Uh, I think one comes out next Thursday. Yeah. But I don't know for sure. I heard Ragsdale was going to go pre-release this weekend. Uh, am I supposed to keep? I have no green. If I had a relay, I would probably keep. But the problem is, the hand just kind of goes nowhere. Like... Alright, guess we're in five. Okay, this is... Fine. I think I'm gonna ship Grape Shot. And the second card is more debatable what I should ship. I think this is probably an empty game. I think I should just ship Grape Shot DRC. Yeah, I'm just gonna empty for a bunch on turn two. I have to ship two. So it's Grape Shot and DRC. I think. I'm just gonna MT for six on turn two. I think that's like the most likely way to win. This is Merc, probably. That's a good draw. I'm gonna sandbag it for a turn. I think MT for 8 is more likely to win, obviously. You know, obviously this might not work out, but you know. I hope they just like cast iteration. Alright. I'll bobble myself to see what I'm drawing. Strike it rich. Don't think I want that anymore. Is it worth paying two life in case I draw a Bun Harvest or a Necromancer? Probably. Don't think waiting improves my position, so I'm just gonna jam. Like, I don't have any good cards in hand, really. Sad. Alright. Right, it, like, because of Ragavan, it's not even a real cost for them to hold up Counterspell. My best draw is, like, some zero or one drop, really. Could have ritualed first. Um, I could have. I don't know. The counter, I saved the bobble. Fair enough. Hmm, I don't like this game. Not splicing, that's just a trap play. Alright. This is probably not good enough, but I think I just have to shove on Eve Goblins and hope it works out. I probably lose to Murktide in a race by this point. If I'd gotten the Goblins off on turn two, it probably would have worked out fine. But. 
Other problem is post board. This deck often has like a bunch of engineer explosives, so I'm not even sure you want to empty them pro post board really. Player draw this game. It was on the draw with a five card hand, that's what happened. Like, likely to lose, but what am I going to do about it? Do I attack for seven or eight? If I attack for seven, they block one, take six, go to ten. And I have, if they don't block, they'll take seven, go to nine. It's probably just seven. I could have also cast this pre-combat to see if it worked, but if they heat this and, like, attack me, that's fine. I don't really want to give up too much damage, you know? So I'm pretty sure they don't have a Merc, because I think most of the time you do cast Merc there. Alright, so they're thefting a token that's attacking them. Fascinating. They milled Ottawara. So this is a two-turn clock, which is the issue. Oh, they're just... Right. I guess they think if they just play it safe, they can't really lose, which I think is correct for them to think like that. So, like, my best draw is probably, like, Breach and hope they have no counter. Oh, wait, that doesn't even do anything. Um, is there a single card I can draw that gets me out of this? Not particularly, right? I feel like their hand was really good, and I'm still sort of in it. So they attack with both. I go to four. I have one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, never mind. I guess. Yeah, but what does Breach do here? If I draw Breach, it doesn't even do anything. Because they have lethal in the air. Like, I literally draw Breach. I bobble a bunch of times. I can't even draw anything that gets out of this, though. Metamorphos into Breach? Okay. Well, problem there is I only have two lands, right? Can't do anything. It's sad. I guess Morphos. I don't know. It's kind of a sad one. Alright, so they usually cite an engineer explosive, so I'm not high on the MT plan, but defense grid's pretty good, and I think Veil is pretty good. The question is what am I allowed to cut? I don't even know how many cards I'm really allowed to cut. Um Harvest. So you just default to setting out harvest, I guess. So it makes sense. I think I'm only gonna have one empty in my deck. Which might be crazy, but and what's the last card I can cut? Strike? That makes sense. Right, it's not about speed. I think, like, you just want to draw a defense grid or a veil, and then, like, kind of just try to one shot them.
I was kind of just an unfortunate game, like five cards on the draw. They like actually countered ritual on turn two. Like if I got writ bubble, if I went bubble writ writ and it didn't get countered, empty for eight, I think actually probably beats them on turn two. But of course that's not how it played out. Um Alright. So I think you probably keep this hand. The question is what do you want to do with it? So you could go DRC Bobble. I think it's probably DRC Bobble, but I'm not sure. The other thing you could do is you could cast Strike It Rich. But that seems worse to me. I'm gonna go with DRC Bubble, I'm not actually sure. One's going to six. I don't think my life all actually matters too much. That strikes me as a good card to draw, honestly. And I'll just cycle the bubble now to get more info. Alright, Ledger Shredder. Shredder seems kind of good for me, honestly. Like, in terms that it's kind of hard to avoid triggering that a lot of the time. All right, so. I think I'm just going to attack. Is it crazy to play nothing this turn? I could cast Strike It Rich if I can't. I was going to cast Strike at Rich, I should have cast it pre-combat in case to see if I hit 3-3. I feel like there's actually merit to just not casting it. And next turn just goes Rich, Ritual, Relay. So I think that's what I'm going to do, honestly. And I can also fetch a tap land this way. Okay, pretty sure they have Spell Snare or Spell Pierce. Kind of makes me want to just cast Strike It Rich. I guess I could wait one more turn. Let's see, I'll have... This will be zero. Could Grape Shot DRC, but then that lets them use their spell snare effectively. Maybe a Strike It Rich Grape Shot. I think I want that one, honestly. I think the game's gonna go long.
They can fluster this, but that's fine. Like, I'm going to have to get through the fluster anyways. All right, cool. It worked. Hit them for one, say go. Of course, I've used all of my spells by this point, but it's fine. I can flash back this. Hmm. Just not to play with Shudder. Interesting. So I have six in graveyard. Can I do something kind of big? I think I can actually. Yeah, if it's only Spell Pierce, it's fine, but if it's Spell Snare, obviously I get caught. I just want to build out, honestly. Looks like Spell Snare, unfortunately. That's fine. I can still be Spell Snare. Then I can Strike It Rich plus Relay for five copies. Wait, no, I don't have enough. So I can only Relay for four? Because that's fine. a necromancer and necromancer drc okay it's not great but drawing those slowly also would not be very good i think Call me beat down driver? I feel like that's what they call Bob. Beat down Bob. I think it's probably a grid. That's not good. So the question is if I play the grid before the DRC, I don't think I can afford to. There's two foundry and a stomping ground left to fetch. This is one, two, three. Three, four, let's see, three plus three, that's six. I could fetch shock to play all my shit out. Probably worth it, honestly. Of course, I'm giving them loots, which sucks, but I don't really... Oh, I should have fetched first. Whoops. Definitely should fetch first. I guess if there's a good card on top, I can just not play the second in Necromancer. doesn't qualify really. Wait, did I miscount? I did miscount. Never mind. I can only play like one more of these out. Do I want to keep the treasure or do I want to not take three damage? Or like essentially two extra damage. So I could fetch shock, puts me to 11. They have a two four. I'm gonna save the treasure. I could see like a the extra mana off another breach being pretty relevant. I don't think my life field really matters. Kind of a brutal card right now would actually be engineered explosives, but whatever. That way, I do have to attack. Okay. 
Tengu. No, I would E for two if I were them to kill Defense Grid. Oh no, I guess maybe one is correct, actually. Huh, didn't think about that. I guess they would have to E for one. Uh, if they let me, I'll trade. Oh, flashback to surveil. I was thinking I could do that in a different turn, but actually I think you're right. We'll see what happens though. Invasive surgery, okay. It's a good one to know about, because can exile grape shot if they have delirium. I think I'm going to block. Oh, now I definitely wish I had surveilled last turn, because now this is going to get eaten, probably. Like, they have one card. They're looking at their top card, which is generally correct, honestly. So looking at my top card doesn't really do anything, except tell them if they should leave out mana or not. If they have something, you know. Okay, I guess... Yeah, I should have surveilled last turn. Guess I can still surveil. Hmm. Very problematic. I think not surveilling last turn was actually a huge punt. What's up, Emma? Hope you're having a good one. Problem is, my DRC is DOA, so I have to do all this stuff to try to find Breach. I think Breach probably is a pretty easy one by this point. I don't like that. It's probably red, red. I guess it could be green, red. Doesn't really matter, I think. Uh, Breach is still lethal next turn, so I think I should just cast it to Surveil. Dang, deck is trolling. There are three Breaches left. Alright, I think I'm supposed to burn this just to Surveil, honestly. Which is a goofy, lo goofy looking use. Alright, cool. I think you have to, right? Like, because the thing is, your your surveil, your veils are not even good with two grids out, so you might as well just discard one to surveil one. Like, I don't see how like the veil could be better, right? Uh, it looks like so. I go breach, DRC, DRC. Breach, DRC, DRC, yeah, it looks like it's lethal to me. And all they can do is tap out for a Merc. Honestly, if they had, like, a Hearse here, it might be good enough to beat me, but I think I'm going to kill them by a lot because of the fact that I can go Breach, DRC, DRC, like, Ritual and Necromancer. I don't know. I think it's, like, plenty. I didn't actually do the arithmetic yet, but it looks like it's overkill to me, personally. Should cast Jex a sand message? Uh, I will not be doing that. Will really not be doing that. They were just flooded with threats. But also, like, a lot of their cards don't even work under two defense grids, really. So. Oh, also, I already have the Grape Shot in Graveyard, so it's, like, kind of mega lethal. You know. 
Uh, what's the best way to do this? I guess it's like... Yo, oh, thanks for the prime, Bryant. There's no one. Does drawing that one matter? So I have four. And Morphos, Grape Shot, Grape Shot. I guess that's easier lethal, actually. Because then I don't have to, like, do off nonsense. It's just faster to do, I feel like. Like, less clicks. I don't have to, like, click on three more cards in my graveyard, right? Okay. Still can't believe it was printed without the... Exile Clause. Alright. Game 3. I'm on the draw. Don't think I want to change anything, really. You hook a with Upside. Uh, DRC Bobble Breach is definitely nonsensical. I like how, like... I went Breach DRC DRC... And basically, like, all my cards just had to escape for one card. You can escape multiple times from the world? Well, yeah, look at Elspeth. She escaped, like, a million times from the world, right? Who can fucking know what was going through their minds? Also, Bryant, should I open a chest for you? And if you all want to be as cool as Bryant, check for that Twitch Prime sub. Oh my god, this hand's like pretty garbage. I'm just go to six. Alright, I'll keep this one. Question is, what do I bin? Is it crazy to ship the second DRC? I mean, obviously DRC is good. Writ also is like potentially... Actually, I could see bottoming Writ. We can find a Writ later. Bin land and be greedy. If I knew there was exactly a land on top of my deck, I would do that. But you can't really know that without cheating. Or hacksering the system. Fucking right again. It's better to cast DRC on one here. I would think about blocking with it, but I probably won't. I'll probably just take the hit. But it's just better to go DRC strike at Rich next turn to get two Zervales. Right, they had a real spell, that's fine. Defend 
defense grid. I hope they cast that one. Kappa. Uh, Ryuei is fine last game. It wasn't great, it was exactly fine. I mean, it was like a draw four, but the four cards I drew weren't good, so it, it was just fine. Although, to be fair, if I drew those four cards slowly, I probably would have lost. So I guess that they were actually, it actually was great last game. So. Do I want to keep that ritual? I think I do, yeah. But I was thinking about it. You know, might as well think. Are going to count as well with my Strike It Rich? I was kind of hoping they would. left on top. I was gonna go for a EOT bolt, except that doesn't like actually do anything. You might as well just untap because it's using your resource that's scarce, you know. Defense grid is in the same set as Blood Moon. So does that actually surprise you? Azax? God fucking Ragavan treasures were so insane for my opponent this game. Just let them have that one, that's fine. That's like kind of a dead draw for them. But... I'm gonna lead on bobbling myself to see if I should burn the Metamorphose for a land drop. Grape shot. Let's see if I can get them to counter this. Of course it gives them a counter for their Shredder, but I can't really get around that at this point. So grape shot for five can only kill that or deal that and four to that. I think maybe doing one four is better. Yeah, but what does breach bobble do versus these, right? Like I could breach bobble bobble, draw two more cards, but doesn't feel like it really gets anywhere, right? So I have eight in Graveyard. I can only draw two, because you go from eight to five to two. So I think I should just Grape Shot this for one and four at their face, is my instinct. Probably a game where I'm just gonna try to run the map counter explosively, draw more lands. Play a strand. 
So if it's a Merc, that's problematic because that means I'm dead next turn. Okay, that's not a Merc. Maybe they're kind of flooded. They left a card on top though, that's probably a bad sign. It's probably a counter spell of sorts. Oh, uh, okay, so now I have to kill them this turn, otherwise I'm gonna lose, because that's definitely big enough. Hello. Like, yeah, that's 11 damage. So... Fuck, I didn't draw any rituals. So the problem is I'm actually gated on mana, because this ritual was exiled to Ragavan. So I can't really do anything except go, like, breach, bobble, bobble, and then I die. Which kind of sucks. Basically, I needed four lands by this turn, because then I could go, like, breach. Hmm. Actually, I'm not sure what I could have. Well, they knew about my ritual, and they bobbled me and got the ritual, I guess. I don't know. It was... Kind of frustrating. Unban Rite of Flame? Oh, yeah. Rite of Flame, I think, would make this deck even better, to be fair. But, you know, it's okay to lose. I think game one, like, being on five cards also made the game very hard. I don't know. It's not... I'm not, like, annoyed I lost. Well, obviously I'm annoyed that I lost, but I also think I made most of the decisions pretty well that game, so... I think this is actually a keep. So you can go turn one, strike it rich. Turn two, ritual. Morphos. I don't know. Like, basically, I think this hand's actually pretty good. The upside's pretty high if you draw lands. Vista, huh? It's Tamishi Bloom. Gab's been playing this deck a bunch, but I think I'm just going to empty on their ass, yeah. Also, like, I don't like waiting versus this deck because of fucking Teferi Time Raveler. It's Tamishi Bloom. I guess it could also be Eggs, technically, but I don't really want to sit around versus this deck. Can we breach in the middle? Uh, I guess we'll find out. If I just do this first. Probably not, though. Oh, well, that's a good one. I'm casting these 100% of the time. So, if I breach, I can breach for plus one, plus two storm. So that would bring me from 10 goblins to 14 goblins. So does that change much? Is there a difference between 10 goblins and 14 goblins, really? Because the only card I'm allowed to breach back is a ritual. No, I don't think there's a difference between 10. Yeah, but how many removal spells do you think a Chromatic Star Lotus Bloom deck will have? And also, like... Also, it could be eggs. I think 10 is fine, yeah. That's my suspicion. I was thinking about it. 
but is the breach doing anything afterwards? I mean, if I draw a land, I can go like breach Morphos and see what happens, right? Also, like conceivably, there could be engineer explosives in their deck, which would be kind of a problem. That problem. We'll see what deck they are. I think it's Bloom, uh, Tamishi Bloom, though. Okay, I guess it's Eggs, actually, if they're getting another fucking uh, island. Alright, it's definitely Eggs. Literal Egg. I now believe... Tech for 10... Is there anything I can do now? Not really, right? They can buy a turn by eating an egg, they can, yeah. There you go. I don't want to put Gigantha in my hand, that does actual nothing. Please, main deck Chalice. I don't care about Chalice on 1. Chalice on 2 is the number I care about, frankly. Main deck EE -E is something I certainly care about. Wait, what? Are they reshaping Star into Bloom? It might be. It kind of looks like that, yeah. Although, the real question is, why did they... sack their... egg? This is a reshape, almost, for sure, it looks like. Yep. Mountain, huh? We have another reshape for the second bloom. Looks like they do. I mean, if this is their draw, the deck does look good. Although second... Okay, so they could have Faith's Reward to bring back Egg Star Bloom Sphere. So I'm probably dead to Faith's Reward. Fucking hell. Maybe they'll brick off on two draws? Three draws. They have three draws? God, that's so many. Probably just lead by cycling sphere. Putting blue into white. See if they've played this deck before. They have not. They've been. They haven't had a result in like four years or five years. Well, I was on the play this game, so I can't really complain. I just didn't do anything on my turn three. Remember, turn two I empty, turn three I passed. So I actually was on the play. So I can't even really complain about that. Like. They bought them both with Serum Visions. Maybe they have to pass?
It's probably open the vaults, if I had to guess. There might be one I'm fin think forgetting, but I think it's open the vaults. Oh, well, if they're... Hmm. They bottomed. So they can cycle, white into blue, reshape. So I think they're sunk now. Alright, I guess it couldn't be empty. I don't know if I want to empty them next game, really. I do think I want endings just to kill, like, Chromatic Star. I think that actually matters. I guess I have Tormod's Crypt, which is kind of problematic. Really also seems kind of... Maybe really is worse than Harvest. That actually makes sense to me. I just want to kill their fucking star or sphere so they can't, like, reshape. Maybe I should just leave two empties, but the problem with empty is I feel like they're going to have a bunch of explosives. I don't really want to boost them. I don't think that accomplishes much. Breach, good. Um, I lost it in Merktide round one, but the games are actually close. Should I have one relay in? It's relay versus empty. Oh, also you could have veil in. Actually, I think there's a small amount of merit to veil. So I, I feel like they could very easily have like Buster Storm in their deck, you know? I'll have one veil in. Then we'll reassess for game three if we go there. I thought I was going to die on turn 3 to their egg stuff, but it didn't happen. I guess they, like, kind of fizzled. So they sided into 61 cards chat. Alright, well, the sand fucking blows. Also, uh, Static, let me know if I should open a chest for you after this match. Well, the sand's fucking great. See you later, second breach. But this hand is not a mulligan. Lotus Bloom, Ghost Quarter, Sphere. I mean, my hand's very, 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 very good, so. Fail. Nope. So I'll just cycle just to see what's up. It's random either way. Grape shot. Alright, they have a grape shot in their deck. So maybe my DRC is dead. It's kind of saddening, but. Chess when I finish the match. Alright. Who is the grape shotter and who's the grape shot E? Well, I guess I didn't cast Grape Shot last match, but I will be the Grape Shot E this match. This game, at least. It's getting cold in my room. Is the heater on? Let me check real quick. That's why. I have a space heater because, like, our house is old, so the central heat is kind of wonky. My opponent apparently has decided it's time to go AFK. You were trying to build Pioneer Lotus Field with Abundant Harvest before realizing even though it was Strixhaven, it's not Pioneer Weevil. Yeah, that one trips a lot of people up. Maybe they don't have a land? 
They were visioning for a land instead of grape shotting my DRC, which is great for me, obviously. Alright. I think their top card's probably a land, if I had to guess. I don't think my life total matters. Cast this. Fuck. Ugh. That's very saddening. If this was like anything else, it'd be a lot better off. If that was like a Galvanic Relay or an Empty, it would be better for me. MDFC Lotus. Hmm, that's kind of interesting if Argus were legal. Can they kill me next turn? Probably not. I know they have Grape Shot in hand from the Bobble. I mean, maybe I'm dead, but I don't think you can win from this board. Like, I don't think- I, I think you literally cannot, to be fair. If I had, like, a ritual, I could probably win, or I could at least try to go for it. Because, like, the DRC milling a bunch actually is a big deal. Try F6 and go to the restroom chat. Bathroom breaks are for winners. I mean, I could just have six and go to the restroom and see if I'm dead. Sam Sherman got you to play some eggs while Mystic Sanctuary is illegal? This sounds like a Sam maneuver. Alright, F hit. I'm going to the restroom real quick for F6 value. Am I dead yet? Oh, I have time to get water too. Nice. There's something cathartic about being able to F6 leave for a little bit and come back and your opponent's still doing things. One issue with eggs is you can't really ever concede to them because their deck has like it's very possible for their deck to fizzle like even drawing like nine cards or whatever. But we'll see what happens.
That's why you need Mystic Sanctuary. Well, that card's not legal in modern, probably for good reason. Conjures Bobble and Serum Visions, alright. There's the Faith's Reward. I mean, if I'm not dead from this position, it honestly seems like their deck is probably not very good. So what they can do, and I think what they should do, is GQ themselves a bunch of times. And then Conjurer's Bobble, or you can Conjurer's Bobble the Faith's Reward back in, GQ yourself a bunch of times to try to hit the Faith's Reward again. So I think I would actually shuffle, I would effectively shuffle the Faith's Reward back in before doing it. All right, well, now they've done it. And the key is you should you should actually shuffle in between, I think. But I'm pretty dead by this point, I think. Howard Scrape Shot. Wait, hold on. Hey, Zach, are you calling people cowardly? I'm just asking for a friend if you're actually calling someone cowardly. I want to still in progress here and need a faster chef. Probably. I think on the play, I might just have all the empties in my deck and just like try to cheese again. Alright, three blooms. I'm almost dead. They only need to cast two more spells before the grape shot. We get an infinite loop with Pirate Spell Bomb. Is there not an infinite loop anymore? I think you still can with Fate's Reward, right? You just have to be careful. Pithing Needle. Okay, Needle's in their deck versus me. Interesting. I don't think there's actually a card. Oh, you can Needle Mishra's Bobble, I guess. Is it impractical? I don't think it's that impractical. My opponent has needled, you are already dead. Cool. Darn, I didn't get to see more of their deck.
You have to deck yourself? Yeah, like, you have to get down to, like, a three-card deck and loop Spellbomb, Conjurer's Bobble, Lotus Bloom, I think, works. And, uh, or, like, I think it works, basically. I'll just do that and go fast. Don't think Poseidon is worth it. Um, I'm gonna keep actually. I think this hand's actually good. Can probably find what I need from the DRC. Time for Mountain DRC Strike It Rich to surveil twice. Do I want that? So, two hundred plus storm. Actually, maybe I did want that, huh? Oh, well, too late now. I think I'm gonna burn a. Actually, maybe I should just burn a ritual now just to surveil one twice to see if I get the damage. I think I should, actually. Alright, well, that one's good enough to win. So, never mind. They could have, like, okay, well, if they're spending that as their turn, they're probably dead. Alright, I'm gonna fucking, like, kill them by a lot. I guess I attack first. I cast a desperate ritual first. And I'm basically milling anything. I guess I should cast Paretic first, probably. Doesn't really matter, they're dead by a lot.
Yeah, I'm already sevened. Doesn't matter how I do it. We'll see. I will not. Boom. I could have stormed for more, but there was no point. Alright, we're 1-1, one, one, chat. Thanks for being here. Play another match. Um, that's kind of a weird matchup. I don't know what's supposed to happen. I don't actually know how fast their deck is, to be fair. Oh, I owe Static Grip to Chess, that's right. Do I owe anyone else a chest? Any other time subbers? Confounding Conundrum. I remember this when this was supposed to be the Omnath Killer. It wasn't. Oracle Moldai is a sick card, though. Five play points. I do like Oracle of Moldaya, though. A conundrum, just like a funny card that it basically went nowhere. I asked you if I should. I'll open a chest for you real quick, Bryant. You didn't actually respond, but now I will. Alright, Winking Spirit. Ant Queen and five play points. Uh, Winking Spirit has hideous art in this formation. Right. Uh, this is a keep though. Ant Queen is so appropriate for you. Did I just bin the Strike It Rich? Cosmic Hawk, I honor every redemption. GTFO with those accusations. That's not very nice. Is there another Merc player? It is. I remember that. You wanted to go to Chipotle, Azax. Someone's telling tell you where some choice. That's just like your opinion. You goof. Azax is a goof. Ah! 
You miss Kodoba? Is Kodoba dead? Oh, they might be Jeskai Breach, actually. Just based on that land. I think they're actually Jeskai... Oh. Is there... Is it Prowess? Well... We ain't sitting around. Problem is, like, I can't actually kill from this board. So I might as well just tap out for... Like, obviously this might get killed, but that's not a big deal. Is it prowess? Yeah, and the draw in this matchup fucking blows, too. So they're gonna dart flashback dart on my Anacromancer, that's fine. I take 10, go to 4. I'm dead to like... I'm dead to a Lightning Bolt, actually. So what can I draw to win? This is the only play I'm allowed to make, I think. I don't think that works. No, just fucking sucks. Like, Gripshot would at least allow me to clear the board. Like, so I'm dead. I think if I hit Grapeshot or Manamorphose or DRC or, or something there, I could have actually maybe gone for it, but it didn't really work out. Um, so I think speed kind of matters. They'll have like Fluster Storm or Spell Pierce, but I think Veiling is still not good because like at the core, like you don't really want to draw those cards versus them. Maybe I can cut relays and just I think maybe relay is not that good versus them. But I don't really want to grid either. I think I'm just gonna hope to have a better hand. Being on the draw, like like, basically, they effectively killed me. I don't think you actually want to have, like, one-for-one one removal spells inverse them. I think that's just gonna lead to a, not a very good draw. I think I keep and actually just use Bobble Bobble Strike It Rich to clear their board on turn three. And assume I'm going to draw something good there. I'm just going to use Grape Shot as a sweeper.
So it's interesting that they don't have Gigantha. So I guess... What does that mean? I'm not sure. It probably means something, I'm just not sure what. Also, like, ending's not exactly free, because you would have to fetch Shock to get a white source as well. So I kind of think that's, like, not actually great a lot of the time. myself. I don't think Gigantha is a waste slot in their deck, actually. I think it's actually good, personally. They have Mugenic, that's fine. But I think this is actually pretty good for me. Now I've relieved all of the pressure by waiting, and I can maybe, like, do this. I knew they drew Arid Mesa, so I'm actually in pretty good shape. Do I want to do that? Five, six, seven, minus two, so that's five. Well, five, six, seven means I could also just empty relay. Is that good? That's actually probably good. I'll do it. I think it's kind of an interesting decision, but... I'm oh, getting a spam call. Fitbit just told me I'm getting a call, but it's probably spam. Traditional Striker Edge. Desperate. Okay. Those cards kind of fucking blow. I might cast all of them just to put them in my graveyard, but they're obviously not great cards. You called me? Well, I'm pretty sure it's actually easy to Google my phone number if you did. So. And that's how it be sometimes. Oh, that's actually a good one. I guess I'll attack first. Deals them five damage. They'll block every time, sure, but that's fine. Is my refrigerator running? I don't know. Tell me how to check, and I'll tell you. This is just a bunch of surveils for free. There you go. That breach is like mega lethal.
This is a matchup where having Lightning Bolt in your deck, I think, would actually be pretty good. But, you know, that's how it is. I'll block. It's like kind of free. Like if they spend a burn spell to kill it, that's fine. Like they could have obviously have dart. But I can always just breach DRC it back, so it's not even a big deal. Yeah, this breach is like mega mega lethal. Yo, thanks for the ten bits. Alright. Don't want to change anything else. Consumably on the draw, it actually does make more sense to have ending, but I kind of think maybe just ignoring them is better. And Grape Shot clearing their board definitely won that game, I think. Breach good. <laughs> breach definitely is a good magic card. No one's denying that. Don't really like trimming harvest. Sadly, we have to mulligan, I think. Fucking Lava Dart is so brutal for this deck somehow, which is kind of funny to think about. I'm not Moe in this hand, obviously, like... Maybe their hand is just, like, kind of clunky enough that it works out for me. All the dirt's gonna beat me no matter what I think. Should I pretend I'm not gonna draw a green card? Because like two life is actually a real cost I think with this hand. All right, then I'm gonna pretend I don't draw a green card. need more DRCs, I think. No blocks. If they dart me, so be it. I guess dart can't actually kill both of them, because the other one will be a 3-3. But obviously it's not something I'm thrilled about. If you have me dead, you have me dead as well. I think just the life points matter more because I, I feel like this game's gonna end pretty quickly no matter what. I 
I think, like, I actually am likely to kill them next turn if I get a turn, you know? Because I can go Breach, Ritual, DRC, Ritual, and I think that's actually infinite. So I can kill one of them. Wait. No, I don't have Threshold. Never mind. I guess I can't. Uh, now it's trickier, I guess. Maybe I'm actually short? Hmm. Also, I'm at three life now. Why did I think it would be thresholded? I guess I have to do stuff because I'm very likely dead next turn. It's like kind of hard to believe that they could have things that don't kill me next turn. Is there a way this works? Doesn't look like it works, right? I just don't have enough stuff. Hmm. So this removes four cards from my graveyard, then I'm dead-ended, right? Can I do anything? Fuck, they just needed to have not have Dart that turn. I think even if, like, one of my DRCs lives, I'm actually probably in good shape. DRC, XLs, four cards from my graveyard, I'll be left with three. I don't feel I feel like I can't do anything, right? Maybe what I should have done was actually just breach DRC say go and hope I'm not dead. Because I'd be at three if they somehow did have blanks, which is basically impossible. I would have been alive. No, I, I needed, like, a bobble or something in my hand. Just, like, anything but Relay. This is a scenario where... Well, I guess I wouldn't have had... I don't know. Kind of frustrating, but that's how it be sometimes. That's fine. Alright, I'm gonna take a quick three minutes, I'll be back for match four. I need to just clear my head real quick, so be right back in three minutes. Thanks for being here, chat, and I do appreciate y'all.
All right, I'm back. Let's finish out the leagues. The league. I feel like I've played mostly not that easy of matchups. Like, we're like the. Hmm. I'm not sure. Like, I think you could definitely have much better matchups for this deck. Well, yeah, ending's not good in these matchups, but that's okay. It doesn't really matter. You know what? This hand's pretty fantastic, so I'm gonna keep. I mean, that game, if, like, my DRCs had just stuck, I think I win by a lot. Instead, Lava Dart literally killed both of them. So it was, like, kind of problematic, you know? But I didn't really see a better play than what I did, you know? Uh, so this is probably Creativity, which I have to imagine is a good matchup for me. Obviously, this thing could die to run in six, but I think I need to just find my second land no matter what. Tomorrow command. Right, sure. Second land. Yeah, but this is... Like, only that deck plays Lava Dirt, and that deck's not that popular, so... I think I can actually potentially win next turn. Wait, can I win this turn? Hold on. Ritual. Morphos and Acromanso. Morphos. No, I think I'm one short, right? Like, these cost one, produce two, so I go up to, oh no, I guess the first one costs retail. I don't really want to just tap out for this and watch it get killed. I guess I'll play Strike It Rich, say go, and hope they play Fable. And then try to kill them next turn, maybe. Oh, did I miss a lethal, a lethal line then? Oh, maybe I missed it then. Hmm, problematic. Sucks to suck. So I just missed it. That's okay. Look, I already said I missed it. You don't, you all don't need to like, pile on. <laughs> Alright. Is it too late to still do this? Because now I know they have Prismari command. Alright, pass. Like, the thing is, if I play a Necromancer, I would get a Ritual off, but if they command my treasure token, it's kind of problematic as well, but I don't think they're going to do that. I also think, like, maybe what can happen is they'll tap out for creativity and I can kill them anyways. Like, if they just tap out for creativity for an Archon, I'll, like, could very easily just kill them on my turn, you know? You'd pick steal a treasure.
They're gonna creativity from one old discard and necromancer. Okay, that's the same thing. We hope to draw land. I think I should still do it. See what I can do. Doesn't matter. I guess it's just red, red, just in case if I don't draw land. Okay, well, that makes it better for sure. Now I think they're dead instead. Boom. Grape shot to the face. Grape shot, escape, grape shot. So, slight missed up. I guess I could have killed them, but. Wait, the way their deck works, they kind of have to tap out. Uh, will MT be good enough versus Thumb? This is a matchup where I kind of wish I had Blood Moon, actually. They also sometimes have Fluster. Well, when did they play? They played Blue Lands, right? So they probably have Fluster or Pierce. They sometimes have Boseju as well, yeah. So I think I want a small number of Boseju's, maybe like two. The question is, do I think we'll empty work for some? You have to empty for a lot to beat an Archon, though. I think I'm just gonna cut the empties and just try to grape shot them out. What else can I set out? I think Harvest is good actually. Maybe it's cut one Harvest. I don't think you want Grid or Veil, really. I don't think they're good enough. I might change my mind for game three. Like, obviously you can Veil the Archons, but I don't think that's really what the game is about. Um, Probably keep. Right, no Leyline is a good sign. So this means they're 5C with Leyline Binding. I want to save the Strike It Rich to go turn to Strike Ritual Relay for three. Is that good? I guess I can Morphos too. That seems pretty good to me, honestly. Basically, I'm just like, I think the idea is you just want to build a big graveyard for your breach, anyways, so that seems pretty good.
Does that allow me to win this turn? Let me think. I don't think it does. Uh, no, it doesn't because I don't have any way to fuel the breach, really. So I think I should just proceed with my original plan, most likely. Maybe, wait, hold on. Can I sink that in there? Let's see. What is happening? Right, so I can ritual morphos that... But I would have to ritual before I morphos. Wait, but this costs... The ritual morphos will have one floating strike down to zero. Hmm. Ritual plus strike. Wait, ritual strike. Oh, I see. Maybe that's actually the play. Ritual strike. A necromancer. Does that work? So three. Use treasure. The, hold on, three. That, so I have two red floating. I guess that works. Sure. So I guess that's probably the play. I don't know, I might have... I guess I'm kind of confused right now, for some reason. This looks pretty good. Should I make red red? Probably red red. If I draw a bone and harvest, I'm never casting it right here. Just really for five. So you go. Okay, we found honestly a pretty good set of cards. They might kill my Anacromancer. I'm not sure I care that much anymore. You okay, got the use out of it. Oh, well, actually, I guess I kind of care. He's messaging me. Old friend. Used to talk to them. Oh, Fury. Wait. Weren't they creativity? Question mark? I mean, I know I've seen this. I'm not convinced this is, like, actually a good idea to put Fury in your creativity deck. I don't know. It's fucking bizarre shit. Another one of those. Let's go right here. Don't think I'm gonna bother with the breach, it doesn't do anything. I'm just gonna take my draw too and put a treasure into play. I think they probably have spell pierce in hand if I had to guess, but we need like a DRC or something. Right. 
I'm just gonna wait them out. Like, it's not a real rush to rush to do anything. I don't think putting Giganth in my hand will do much. I hope they hit Fury so bad off of Creativity or Transmorg. If they decide to go for it, I guess. I guess the thing to be worried about is Iona, actually. So maybe I can't wait around forever. Didn't think about that, but if they have, if they have Fury and Iona in their deck at the same time, I'll be like kind of off put. <laughs> I agree, but watch it just happen right now. Faithless salvaging sounds really not very good to me. Like two is a lot for basically that sort of effect. Are the exact reason to play around Iona? The only creativity for one. Sure. Discard that. Just your brain vomit. Fair enough. It's probably good enough to win through a fluster or a spell pierce. Like, it looks very lethal to me. this first but it's fine I think this will still work out I was thinking that I might have to uh, well I think I fucked it up but I was thinking just grape shot three times through fluster is the easiest way to beat them right Is there a way to get through Fluster? I guess there isn't, actually. You have concerns about Bolt? Oh, I think they're way more likely to have Fluster or Pierce, yeah. I'm putting them on Fluster currently, but... Maybe that's wrong. I'm not gonna flashback these Harvests, I think. So if they foster this, it's fine. Oh, uh, I guess that makes it easier.
Is there any way to get on get around Fluster? I guess they'll be at two. So answer is no. I guess they don't have Fluster. Was there a way to beat Fluster there actually? Huh. I feel like there was, but I didn't do it. I'm not sure. If anyone wants to go back and tell me if I could have beaten Fluster or not, let me know. But I do think that's a good matchup for this deck because I think like they can tap off our creativity and then you can just like grape shot them in the face for lethal. Could have drawn one more card. Okay. That's why we the way to do it. Although I don't have Veil in my deck, so I guess it'd be like drawing another Fluster or something else. Or like another DRC. I guess there's enough cards that would have made it. Yeah, I, sh I should have. Okay. I think probably I spewed by not getting the DRC earlier is the actual problem. Kinder attack. Kinder attack or Kinder catch chat? Ooh, this seems pretty nice. Yeah, I should have just... I think I should have gotten the DRC into play earlier. But this hand's pretty good, to be fair. Kahira probably means 4C or Elementals. I guess those are kind of the same thing. Um... Shrug. I don't think I can really play around Ren 6. Didn't cost me too much. I think I will play Elementals next, so to be fair. Okay, let's see what you draw. Let's see for it. Sure. Ooh. Oh, that just means ending. Okay. Fine. That's actually worse for me. I would rather it be run. So, maybe a spew. Relay. Actually, I think the relay is good and I want to draw it. I'll just burn all my cards to have an enormous relay and try to kill my opponent that way. <laughs> Teferi? Sure, I don't give a shit about Teferi. I think thinning actually does matter when you see this many cards off of a relay. Like, getting lands out of your deck actually matters when it's like repeated draws. So that's why I'm doing this. Am I supposed to breach? Let's see, am I supposed to breach into a big relay? Let's see, I have nine. So it's like really for four or like breach and redraw to another breach. 
I think I'm probably supposed to do this, honestly. So it's Breach, Bobble Bobble Relay. And leave everything else. Oh no, it would be Breach, Ritual, Bobble Relay, I think. Alright, I guess I'll do it. I guess I should be careful what I exile. Memory Deluge? Oh, so they're a very controlling version of the deck, which actually makes this better, I think, to do. Seven cards, Wheel of Fortune. A Necromancer, okay. Which ones are from the relay? Can't even tell. I guess on next turn it will be very clear. I know they have Deluge and Unknowns. Right, I can't cast Paretic in response to that, but I guess I can still go Paretic Relay, which is probably fine. I only have one Grape Shot left in my deck, so it's kind of problematic. So how many breaches are left? There are two breaches left on my deck, so that's fine. Maybe we'll run them out of cards, I don't know. Probably not. Tech will try him. Mark made his charm. Huh. Okay. This looks like a good matchup for Veil of Summer. As well. I should have played DRC first, actually, but... Yeah, I kind of regret not playing the DRC first. 
guess I'll still cast it. Sucks to suck. I needed... Yeah, probably should have just... Okay. Well... Resources at least, so. Way to land. Alright, I guess it's Gigantha in hand, say go, then breach a bunch of shit back next turn. Somehow all my shit's exiled. Kind of insane. Uh fuck. If I had gotten one I should have I should have been more careful about how I cast my spells. I should have gone DRC and Necromancer ritual. And then I would have been able to empty for lethal, but sucks to suck. Save an ending. land in deck. That's fine. We just empty for ten? Is empty for 10 likely going to be good enough versus what they're showing? Or do you think they have Supreme Verdict in their deck, chat? problem with Breach is if they have Counterspell or Charm, it kind of doesn't work very well. So I think I'm just going to cast the Empty. Then if they tap low for Verdict, I can try to get them with Breach next turn. Do you think they have Verdict? What do you think they have in hand? So, like, basically, I think that's not as simple of a question. It's, like, seven Counterspells versus, like, two verdicts, right? In hand. And also, which card are you more likely to take off Memory Deluge, right? I think the answer is actually, like, Supreme Verdict by a lot. Yep, they would have, I would have gotten bodied by that charm, I think, if I had played my Breach right there. They're bouncing a token with Teferi's. That's a good sign for me. It's just like, I think you just think it through and they're just more likely to have a counterspell than a verdict in their hand. 
That's a good one, too. I'll send three at Teferi and the rest at them. One, two, three. Plays around a solitude. Right. Now should I cast a breach? Probably not. Probably should just say well the flashback deluge. Okay, so I guess I will cast a breach. If they counter it, that's fine. That means they don't get to use deluge this turn. Also kind of hard. Oh my god. What the heck? Alright. Guess we'll put that on the stack. all this. Like they don't really have very much. Shot you twice. Boom. Chat. Boom. I'm throwing grapes at their face. Boom. All right. Probably want some veils. Grape nuts, indeed. Uh, this matchup actually seems pretty good for me. Like, it's kind of easy to beat counter magic if you're if you're patient and you have enough lands. All right. I think I want some combination of these. I might want a small number of Boseju. I'm gonna cut one empty. Maybe just both. Endurance is kind of worrying, which is another reason to have defense grid. Um, I think I can cut one mountain. Maybe not, actually.
What am I allowed to cut? It's kind of difficult to figure out what to cut. Maybe I will cut Harvest, actually, even though I do think they're good. Just because it's like a strain on your green. Maybe I can cut... One Sacred Foundry for one Harvest, actually. Galvanic Relay was very, very, very good that game, chat, for those of you who are wondering. Right. I'm gonna keep. I mean, just kind of builds a graveyard. I think maybe I'll save Grape Shot for Teferi, depending on what they do. I draw a uh, DRC is probably my best draw, frankly. I'm not going to cast anything for the first few turns, actually. On turn three, I'll go strike, bobble, bobble, relay for four. This is like a two and a red draw four. Alright, opponent, please take your turn. Maybe they don't have Ren6 in their deck. Maybe this is just the 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 George Jabber deck. Speaking of George Jabbers in chat. Mystic Gate, no Ren. Yeah, but Ren's such a stupid magic card. Alright, opponent, please let me fetch. Please just F6. I care if they counterspell it. I guess I could wait to see if I draw a land for turn four and just do a big thing then. Because if I draw a land, that kind of works out better for me. That's like a lot of looks at a land and. Yo, Mike Brab, thanks for your Twitch Prime. Shadow of Doubt? Oh, well, I guess if I got Shadow of Doubt, it. I would get Shadow Doubted, that's fine. But they didn't Shadow Doubt me, so I don't think they have it. So 
So Mike Bravo, let me know if I should open a chest for you in a bit. Hope you're having a good one. Hopefully I have one trick could reach out and say go. Then next turn I have a fuck ton of like selection or whatever. Depending on what they do. Precisely. I just don't like playing like spells piecemeal into counterspell unless if there are cards that don't really matter. But next turn like, I can get a lot going, so. Oh, are they gonna ending my treasure? Alright, sure. Fine. I don't really care about that too much. Okay. I just want to mill aggressively. I guess I can... Actually, I guess if they buy this, I don't care. Don't worry about it, Justin, too. Happy Friday. Yeah, cool. Glad to have you here. I want that one. Yeah, I think so. Follow you. If they have a fluster, that's fine. It's not that bad for me, even if this gets flustered. Oh, I should have resolved it the other way around. Whoops. Okay, they did not have Fluster. Tarn, probably not, but we'll see what they do. Solitude. Evoking to fairy, so that means they're just like prioritizing leaving up a counter spell pretty hard, which is fine. Because I just cast a bunch of stuff and chain another big relay. Should work. Son. Oh, I lost your boy Dylan Javi earlier. As this deck. Dylan was playing Is It Prowess and I got killed basically because both my DRCs died to off a dart. Wow, who are you rooting for? It's kind of fucking rude, Lawrence.
root for chaos. Mm, let's see. Fine. So they're gonna counterspell this. Wish I had a veil to punish them, but I don't. It's fine. Veil would still defeat Vito. It's fine. Don't want that one. I feel like I'm going to win this one pretty easily, though. There's the Veil. So they're probably not going to end up drawing this turn if I had to imagine. So I'll re-bobble after they crack their strand. Let's see what we got. Dress down. Okay, that's fine. It disables DRC, but it doesn't really actually affect me very much. Like, I have, enough, I have a big enough graveyard that that's fine. I can also just lead on defense grid, which forces out the dress down. I have a very, very, very big graveyard. Storm. Okay, so I need to cast a few more spells. I guess I can just cast a bunch of rituals, it doesn't really matter. This, this game was the power of Galvanic Relay, I think, mostly more than anything else. I guess Underworld Breach too, but... Shot you. Doesn't really matter how I click. Underworld Breach is a powerful magic card. Double grape shot, grape shot you. There you go, chat. There you go. What was that? Was I in the play this match? Go back. I need to check. No, I was on the draw, but I don't think play draw matters in that matchup. 4C, Arc, Mages, Charm, Mystic, Gate, Control. Win, win. The matchup just seems actively very, very good for me. On mass? I mean... That is a card good versus the type of deck you like to play, but so is Veil of Summer, right? Because you can just lead on Veil of Silence. Like, Veil of Summer is basically Silence versus the type of deck you like to play. 
Like, Teferi 3 doesn't actually beat Veil if you just lead with the Veil. Alright, chat. Um, so that's Gruel Storm. I think the deck's decent. I mean, if we just look, we played against, like, three racing matchups and we lost two of them and won one of them. Like, I don't think it's a big deal that I lost to, uh... Like, I don't think it's a big loss. Like, a big deal that I lost, like, is it Murtite and is it Prowess? Because I think they, like, press you hard enough that you have a very small window to try to kill them. And it just didn't work out twice, you know? Like, they go full court press pretty quickly. Alright, chat. I think I'm going to take a few minutes and probably try a different deck. But thanks for being here. Um, if you want to support the stream, hit that follow button. That's free to do. If you really want to support the stream, consider using Twitch Farm Sub. Be back in a few minutes to build and play a different deck through a few matches at least. Thanks for being here. <laughs> 